Hi again. In a previous video, we configured the MPOS by going through a semi-configuration process, where we scanned for MPOS meters, then changed the names, and finally ran a configure action to create the virtual BACnet devices and trend logs. In this video, we will explore an application that will fully, automatically, configure the MPOS. We connect to the Dingo device and navigate to the module setup. Beside the trendlog pusher, we also have a peripheral command application. I have named this instance Full Automatic MPOS Configuration. This application is configured to run every 24 hours with an offset of 6 minutes. The application is configured to use the MPOS, and the negative 1 integer means we are using all buses. The application is configured not to do any restarts in periods where data are being collected from the MPOS meters. It will run command 7, which means full scan and configure. This means that MPOS meters attached to the MPOS plugin within the Dingo device will be scanned, configured as the virtual BACnet devices, and trend logged. With TrendLog Pusher also running, the data from the MPOS meters will be sent to the cloud. All fully automatic. Now this application has been running for some time and has automatically fully configured the MPOS and should have sent data to the cloud. The data in the cloud will be stored under this meters item. So, I will refresh it to see if the new MPOS meters have arrived in the cloud. And we see it has. We can also check if these meters contain data. And they do. So, to summarize, we can do a fully automatic configuration of the MPOS by only using the peripheral command application and the trend log pusher application. Or, we can do a semi-automatic configuration by using scanning, added templates and other things, apply actions, and using the trendlog pusher application. The peripheral command application can then also be activated to automatically configure any later attachments of MPOS meters. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye for now.